Today with the launch of Silence Optics 2.0, we're proud to show you how it works. First scenario, Silence Optics on a weaponized office document. So we're going to go into our demo environment here, and this is what we do every day. We're reading our emails. We're going to open up a resume that came in from one of our trusted co-workers. This has a macro, so we're going to open it. Immediately, Silence Protect has blocked this. But let's see what happened behind the scenes. Going into our Silence console, into our machine, and what you'll see here now is with the launch of Silence Optics, Silence customers can view detailed data around an attack. There's a lot going on here. There are a tremendous number of events that lead up to what would have been a successful attack. Now in addition to that focus view, we have the ability to run an intelligent query. Here we're going to look for an Excel file, and we're going to restrict it to the zone that we're in. We're going to name it something, just for ease of use, weaponized Excel. This is a real-time query. It's going out to all the machines. When we view the results, you'll see all of the information around the attack. We can also look at it graphically and you can see all of the information about what may have happened. Remember, we blocked the attack, but we're still collecting all the information around it. Now if this was really bad, we have the choice of locking down the device, or pulling the binary, or another remediation action. On to WannaCry. So this has been in all the news for the last week. We showed you how Silence Protect blocked WannaCry. Now we're going to show you what we saw. So let's go into a machine, which is unprotected, and immediately WannaCry encrypts the machine. On our second box, which is also unprotected, we can see the network traffic. Behind we see the ransom note. This is unfortunately all too common. Now within a couple of seconds, this machine, which is also unprotected, will fall victim to WannaCry. We should talk about that Adelkuz, which is now a new version of the same exploit kit, is having an even larger impact. So while we're talking about WannaCry here, remember, this continues to be a problem. Now here we'll see that this Windows 7 box has its files encrypted on the left side. Just that quickly. And unfortunately, in a moment, the ransom note will pop up. Again, all too common. Now let's see how Silence Protect with Optics protects and then reports. We're going to go back into our first machine again, which is immediately encrypted. We'll see the network traffic flowing, and then within a matter of seconds, Silence Protect quarantines the file and prevents this box from being encrypted. Right here. It was that fast, and it's that safe. But let's go into the console to see what Silence actually saw. As we showed you a couple of minutes ago, it's very easy to build an Insta query. So this IQ search, as we call it, allows you to search by a bunch of different things. Instead of looking for the Excel file that we looked for last time, now we're going to go in, and we're going to look for the malware payload, which is associated with WannaCry. It's going to run the query, and just in a second we'll be able to go right in and view the results. So now we're going to go over, click on the results, and it's going to bring up the machine. Now notice, in this case, it's really simple. There's only one asset involved with this attack. So now we're going to view the focus data, and you'll see that unlike the Excel attack, this one is really only four events. Silence Protect, as we can see in events three and four, has successfully protected this machine from not only one, but multiple lateral attacks, also known as propagation attacks. So in summary, Silence Protect stops malicious activity. Optics now provides incident response and containment, suspicious activity validation, 
threat hunting, and suspicious activity detection using artificial intelligence.